Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Donna Fiesel, and I'm your host of Afternoon Drive Home on IC Radio. Since we're in Christ Radio, we're your source for news and entertainment. You can also find us on television a couple different ways. You can find us on Channel 182. That's on Charter Communications, which is local to North Alabama. You can find us worldwide on Abundant TV, which is found on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. And we are now in Australia, too. So that's pretty cool, too. So, again, thank you so much. We know you can be doing anything else, but you're watching Loretta and me. And I know the reason you're watching is because of Loretta. You know what? She's with Cove Crafters. She's the organizer. She's the I put it together kind of stuff. How do you do all of this? My goodness. Oh, I think I just do because I stay organized. I have my own little way of getting things done. She does. And when <laughs> when materials start coming in, they have to be processed in a certain order. Otherwise, I will get confused and it will never be done. <laughs> So yeah, I've, now that we've been doing this a little over four years, um, yeah, it's I've got it down. So it's it doesn't always work out the way I plan, and that's okay too. So, well, no one reason is you're you are dependent on the supply chain, and so you know, know we all we fuss about this all the time. All of us, everybody in the United States who has to order things, we all complain about the supply chain, and it's got to be hurting you a little bit. It is the supplies that we need for our November meeting, which is a birdhouse Christmas ornament, were ordered back in the first of September, and they're still not here. Oh no! So we're we're waiting for that last bit of supplies, and so when they come in, they still have to be prepped because they're from the Dollar Tree, and they're just plain balsa wood, and they're going to have to be painted, and they're going to need a hole drilled in the bottom for a tea light, and this, that, and the other, and so it's just, yeah, we'll be having a work day as a group, and I will be posting that on the Cub Crafters site, so um Hopefully it's going to be here in the next couple of weeks because we're running out of clock. I hope it is. But if not, I know you will have something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a plan B already in place, so we're good. I wanted to, to let everybody see. Um, there's, a, there's a picture I'm going to flash up here. And this is the folks. And this is not everybody. Some folks had to leave. And, you know, so we always get this picture, like, at the end of it. And so these are some of the people who are, this, I think this is the last meeting we had. And, yeah, because I'm recognizing the crafts. And so, I mean, these are my new groups of friends. I mean, I love coming to this class. Aren't they wonderful? Mm-hmm. They're wonderful, and but you are wonderful. Have, oh, thank you. I mean, I just, uh, this last craft, as you know, because you were there, and you can see it right over mm -hmm. there, um, that this particular craft was really an easy one to make, and they're just so much fun because it's just, a pair of socks that are folded so that it looks like, in this case, uh, a latte, like a pumpkin latte would be. And um, yeah, I really like the way they came out. They're very sweet, get it? Sweet. <laughs> I love it. I can't believe your imagination because I would have never, but the first time you said, we're going to use sauce and we're going to make, um, it's going to look like a latte. And I'm like, huh? How can you make a pair of socks look like a latte? <laughs> but you did it. And so I mean, it was so much fun. And I wanted to say this too before we get started any further. There are a lot of men who come to this class too, and they work as hard as the women do. I do. I'm so proud to start having men in the midst of us. Um, mm -hmm. They work just as hard as we do. They make sure that uh, things are done. I, just having them there helps the walking part. Because as you know, I have to walk a lot during Cup Crafters. We do the video beforehand. So everyone who's there knows what's involved with our project and they'll know how to do it. And uh, so they, these guys will like help distribute a few more supplies to send the runs out and that keeps the wear and tear on my feet down a little little bit so i'm very proud to have them that's for sure and i wanted to mention a couple of, of guys we got the world's best husbands you know that and so they're they're always there rooting us on and we've actually got them involved too and your husband especially and there's so many projects he puts together that folks don't see. I mean, it's behind the scenes stuff, but without that, we wouldn't have the Cove Crafters classes. Yeah, he he does a lot of the um, behind the scenes stuff. He gets the photos um, 
in the PowerPoint presentation or I'll, we'll do a video and then he'll do the voiceover for me. It's time consuming, but it's so worth it because then nobody has a question as to what they're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, then I'm just free to walk around and make sure that there aren't any questions. If they are, then I can stop and show somebody how to do, you know, a step or um, whatever. Because I know personally, I'm a visual learner. I always have been. Me too. Um, when I was little, my reading skills weren't that great. Of course, now I can read just fine. And my comprehension is just fine as an adult. But I look at it from the standpoint of a little bit of both. Because with the PowerPoint and with the, um, the videos, you have the, the visual as well as the written instructions. And so that's, mm -hmm. to me, it's very important. Mm -hmm. It is. And hus her husband's name is Mike, and then my husband's name is Phil. Yes. And I think those guys kind of back each other up, too. They prop each other up. So <laughs> we appreciate everything they do. Let's talk for a few minutes about why we do this. Well, Cuff Crafters was actually born from the idea of... I had heard rumors that there was a group that used to meet years ago to make projects, but the projects were just whatever people brought and you know donated. There wasn't like a cohesive group. And um, I kept asking why. And at that time I was actually making all of the gifts that went out to our, to our patients. And so we got a hold of the right people. We put a plan into place. And then we uh, executed it. And our very first meeting was in June of 2017. So it's been four years and I couldn't be prouder of the group. And ideas come from everywhere. They come from things I've made like with craft fairs in the past. They've come from Pinterest or somebody go, can we make this? It's like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, we can. <laughs> it's an easy one, you know? So. You yeah, know what? The four of us are going to have to go to this restaurant. You said Pinterest made me think of this. We have a new sponsor, and it's called The Hatter, and it's a, the restaurant. And they are they are it's kind of like a deli restaurant, sort of something like that. They have really good sandwiches and things like that. But they are in Mentone, Alabama, and I thought of you. When, when we went up there, I, I, and I told Phil, I said, Loretta would love this place. It's, it's, and I told the owner of, of this of the Hatter restaurant. I said, you know something? I said, I'm in Pinterest heaven. It's like she has used little cups, little teacups and stuff like that and mm -hmm. made chandeliers. And she'll turn the, she'll turn them upside down like the plate would normally be like this with the cup on top. Well, she's turned it upside down and drilled a hole here in the cup and then, or in the plate and then the cup and then down under there is a light. And they're just cute little chandeliers. That sounds so adorable. No, you can't do it with my china. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can go to the thrift store. Can yeah. you do it? Absolutely. So you can go to Shepherd's Cove Thrift Shop. You know, I found some dishes exactly like my grandmother's dishes. And so I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to break the, I'm going to break those dishes. And I'm going to make some little um, stepping stones for my garden. Oh, areas. yeah. I think that'll work. Take pictures. I want to see it. You know, I want to see it when it's done. Yeah, I'll probably recruit you and get you over here. <laughs> so I'm sure you're going to have some steps I won't know what to do with. So that's just another project. But let's talk. I wanted to show everybody another project. And this is something that we've done. And this just, just gives you kind of an idea. And so you're always thinking of the patients at Shepherd's Cove. And so these are nice little, like, make notes and stuff. And the family can keep that and remember their loved one at a later time. And the ones that we're making for October, which mm -hmm. we'll get into a date change here in a second, are actually going to have a couple of magnets on the back. So they'll, they'll go right onto a refrigerator. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. But there's something yeah. about, like, sometimes I just look at, like, my grandmother's. Sometimes I just look at the cards and, and, and not, even, not even comprehending what they wrote on the cards and recipes and stuff like that that they had. And I'm just looking at their handwriting. You know, handwriting is, I mean, that's an awesome, awesome thing. You can go back and think of a loved one. And, you know, they wrote this. I mean, this is pretty awesome. So it's got their handwriting on it. And that's something that the family members will be able to keep. 
And you know, the thing is you can scan that into your computer and print it out and make your own little family recipe book. Very easy to do. Mm -hmm. um, you don't necessarily even have to have like a binding machine like I have. You can get a hand punch in those little rings like they uh, use for uh, happy planners and make a book that way too. Very mm -hmm. simple. Yeah, I'm, and there's I'm so, so much fun. I love the fact that it's hand, like you. I like the handwriting, the that personalization, and um, yeah. My my mom uh, passed away in 2017, so uh, you know I have a few things that have her handwriting on them. Not too many, and but that's okay. You know, I, I only need a few, but it's just so it's so important to continue that legacy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They were talking about Shepherd's Cove, and there is a way you can volunteer. And I'm going to say, I love volunteering with Cove Crafters. I just think it's fun. So if someone has a little time on their hands, maybe they're new to the community because, and we've mentioned this a lot, Loretta, Albertville is growing like gangbusters. Every single time I go into Albertville on Highway 431 or wherever, there's a new building, which means a lot of folks are coming into the area. And if you have been brought here to Albertville, Alabama, and it's your first time out here, we are proud to have you. And if you're looking for something to do because you want to meet some awesome people, cream of the crop is going to be Cove Crafters or Shepherd's Cove, any way you want to volunteer. Well, there's so many ways to volunteer from doing paperwork in the office, which is extremely critical, um, uh, to sitting with patients, to Cove Crafters, to the thrift store, um, to just maybe running errands for a patient. You know, they need groceries, but they just can't get out. Walmart pickup orders are stellar. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, there's just, there is, there is nothing that should stop you even if you, let's just say you have a disability and you're in a wheelchair, that's not even an issue because you can still do stuff at home, whether it's make phone calls, uh, write cards, you know, to send out to folks. Um, mm -hmm. All of it is so important. And what people don't realize is, you know, they're like, oh, this doesn't really make a difference, but it does. Because Shepherd's Cove is required for Medicare to have 5% um, of our um, care given to patients uh, done by volunteers. And last year we had 11%, and that's even with the pandemic. So um, that, that helps pay for things like medications and the nursing services and home health care or maybe they need somebody to come in and help clean the house because they're just not able to do it anymore. All of that is encompassed in that volunteer program. Mm -hmm. Absolutely it is. It's just it's just a great thing. And, and again, you're new to town, you're going to meet the best people here. And who knows, I mean, and you got to admit this, Loretta, sometimes it's who you know, the job you get. Well, you're going to be a, associated with a lot of who you knows when you volunteer at Shepherd's Cove. And you'll get to know a lot of people too. There's, I can't even tell you, I probably met hundreds of people and uh, it was kind of cool as a couple of weeks ago, somebody actually recognized me from the show. So that was cool. <laughs> I know. Oh, no, I love that. <laughs> it was, it was cool. Usually so, what happens yeah. to me is I'm out and I'm not fixed up. I've got a cap on and blue jeans and a t-shirt or something. And sometimes people walk up to me and I go, do I know you? You know, they'll, and I'll go, well, yeah, but maybe from the show, you know, and they'll go, oh, okay. And then they're kind of looking at my face like that. Yeah, that is you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That is awesome. But yeah, there are lots of, there's lots of things to do. Um, of course, Cup Crafters is my passion. I'm a paper crafter by heart and by choice. And um, I've been cleaning out my craft room again. So if you guys go to the thrift store in the next few weeks. You may see a few goodies. Donna, please don't buy any paper. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought I was going to be, I thought that she's always helping me out. Loretta's always, you know, like I, I found this and I got this, blah, 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 blah. And I thought, man, I'm going to help her this time. And then I looked at this big box and had your name on it. You actually <laughs> donated it. <laughs> so yeah, it was what you would have done if I'd got that and brought it back to you. Donna. I, I would have cried and laughed at the same time, but yeah, it happens. Well, in that case, um, I had had that paper since probably the inception of Cuff Crafters, and I just, I couldn't take it anymore. I mean, seriously, 
I could there, there was just not another day I could have that paper in my life. So it was best to to donate it and send it on down the line. So let me ask you something. Can people donate to Cove Crafters? Maybe any craft supplies? Because I mean you need yeah. things like glue guns. I mean, if you've got ten people there, you gotta have ten glue guns, right? If you have twenty people, we gotta have twenty. <laughs> Right, I, you know, I didn't count them. I just cleaned out. I I carry two rolling carts that are like a tool chest that a guy would use, mm -hmm. and um, one of them it's primarily for like uh, power cords and scissors and that kind of thing, and the other mm -hmm. one has um, hot glue guns, glue sticks, and that kind of stuff in it. And uh, so it's all nice and neat, and I can just grab it. But but what's, what's happening now is after these four plus years. Uh, we'll go to plug in the glue gun and it's it's just died. So it's just going to go in the trash can. But those, those kind of resources need to be replenished, especially glue sticks, obviously, because we, we go through a five pound box of glue sticks in two meetings. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. So and I'm yeah, going to tell you I'm what, glue can... guns are the best things ever invented. I love glue guns. They are. They're <laughs> awesome. Um, as far as gifting directly to Cove Crafters, um, supplies for um, our group, you can just contact me or Donna. And uh, the good thing about that is that the supplies would stay with me here. They would be stored. Um, we use supplies until they're just completely gone. Mm -hmm. So, um, and if you do that and you need a tax receipt, let us know. We can do that for you. You can also donate to, directly to the thrift store. The only difference is that if you donate to the thrift store, the the foundation gets the money for that. So yeah. if, if you wanted to do that, you can. You can also donate to the foundation and, and mark that donation as co-crafters so that those monies come directly back into our group. Oh, so great. it's, um, you know, it's like everything else. Uh, the prices have increased three and four times what they were even six months ago. It's so all the amazing. donations would be really nice. Um, now, I'm yes. to say this. We've got to talk about Santa Fe and Santa Fe Cattle Company. And they always, speaking of donations, they always donate food. And it's always good. It is so good. Yeah, it's um, that is part of their, their giving to Shepherd's Cup Hospice. And mm -hmm. uh, those folks who own that company have a wonderful heart. I've had the opportunity several times to tell them thank you in person. And uh, so they, they prepare the meals. One of our staff members goes and gets it. And, mm -hmm. and it's ready by the time um, everybody's there. And uh, we have everything from a, a chicken with a potato to um, the club sandwiches, which is one of my favorites. And, uh, but the, the best thing to me is that we do still have some of those folks who come to our meetings that are working. So they're just getting off work. They don't have to go try to figure out how they're gonna, um, you know, get something to eat and then come to Cove Crafters. They're just gonna sit down and enjoy a nice meal, so. And it's all well, it's, it's a treat. And, and, and sometimes, and we all love our husbands, we all love our spouses, but sometimes you just need a little treat for yourself. And making stuff, working with your hands, to me, is just, that's, that's the ultimate right there. If you want to kind of get away from things, maybe away from the boss or from your job or whatever, and, and that's why I have a workshop at the house. I'm pretty sure that's why you've got one. And so you and I get into our little workshops, and Phil always says, if I can't find Donna, she's either in the greenhouse or she's in a workshop. And it's just that everybody needs a place. And if you don't want a workshop in your house, but you want to come and help and volunteer and make a difference in someone's lives, a lot of somebody's lives, you can do that and get you a new group of friends as well. Absolutely. And we, I personally try to keep these gifts that are going out to our patients somewhat in the calendar year, not necessarily like, you know, Valentine's Day, but it would be something more on the softer romantic side of things for, you know, Valentine's Day or March instead of, you know, St. Patrick's Day, we're going to use that green, you know, and maybe do something, a project that's just got a lot of green in it. And then, of course, you know, we've got anything patriotic that can be used any time, any mm -hmm. of the year. And so it's just, it, to me, it's just really interesting to see how the projects end up. Now, my prototype can look like one thing, and then 
the rest of the projects that come back are just like, wow, I didn't think of doing it like that. It's just really the, the heart and the creativity are fabulous. You know, you mentioned patriotic and Shepherd's Cove is very patriotic. When someone passes away, he's been in the military, there are special services for them. There are actually, when, when we have someone in the IPU or the inpatient unit who passes away, and when, the, when they're bringing their, their remains out to go to the funeral home, um, then anybody who's in the building is encouraged to come and line the hallways for an honor walk for that, that individual and their family. Now during COVID, our staff actually folded a flag and, and presented it to the family. Um, I'm not sure if they're still doing that part or not, or if you know um, one of our military local services does that. Um, but it's to me, it's such an honor to remember the sacrifice of the men and women who served in our military. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think it's an awesome thing. I really do. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about, as we're, normally we have the classes on the um, earlier in the month, but we're going to have to delay that a little bit. You've got a doctor's appointment you've got to take care of. I do. So there's no way I can be in two places at once. But um, we are moving Cove Crafters right now, tentatively, unless somebody something has changed. I don't know about it yet, to the 20th, which is just one week down the road. Uh, it still will be right there at Shepherd's Cove in the community room. We'll start at 5.30 and eat and then we'll we'll do our crafting project. So um, if you have any questions about that, just email me um, or send me a private message here on Facebook. I'll be glad to, to help you with that. And uh, so, and I encourage you to please come. It really is a good time. Mm -hmm. It most certainly is. And uh, they're always aware of your time, too. So they, re they do respect oh. that. Loretta does. Loretta and her husband. Um, we got a uh, little bit under seven minutes left in the segment. I want to talk about your business. Um, now, you can find Loretta on YouTube and some of the different projects she has. And, and I hope you're going to start your classes back up again your classes. I am planning and, to do so. Okay. Um, I'm actually waiting for supplies. <laughs> no surprise. Aren't we all? But, um, <laughs> yeah, well, they're supposed to be here today. And so basically, um, I, I will be letting you know so you can um, help me publish that. But uh, we are going to do a Christmas scrapbook that's got the Christmas tree and it's going to have lights. So you actually can turn on the lights to the tree. And uh, so, yeah, you've got your little journal. You've got I the, love the this journal. Part. Isn't that fun? I've started doing genealogy in it. And, oh, there you go. Yeah, and and so I, I found out I, I didn't have Indian. I already knew that. My my great grandmother is part Indian, and so I've went back and and so I've been looking through there. And it's my great grandmother's name was Minnie McClendon Slayton, and it was on her side of the family. Her mother's name was Mary Griffin, and so the Indian was actually Lucinda Sharpton. Oh, and wow. So that was great, great, I think great, great, great grandmother. And so there are lots all kinds of, actual... of neat things. But that's what this, these are for, and this is like a treasure book to me, and Loretta made this. How did you she make did. this? This is so cute. Um, it's an old quilt. And I just, I made the cover from chipboard um, that I had. You can also use a cereal box or, um, you know, soda box, whatever you have. It can mm -hmm. be macaroni and cheese box, just as long as it's just thick enough to, to handle the media. In this case, I used, um, yes, adhesive to keep everything where it belonged. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that's, yours is a journal. And um, this is more of a scrapbook project that you can actually put pictures and journaling in that, you, be a really great gift to give to grandma um or you know aunt and uncle for christmas um and my favorite part really is the fact that it's got lights on the christmas tree oh, in the yeah. oh i love that i love that but i wanted to mention you mentioned grandma but i'm thinking like like maybe a young married girl where she can start talking you know she can start putting some things in here about the wedding before the wedding what did did to get prepared for it and just gives you keep keep safe book right here something you can hand down to your kids and so that would be a great great thing to do too now your classes how can folks find you on youtube 
Um, how do they find me on YouTube? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the easiest way is to just go to YouTube and type in Loretta Roger. Um, but if you want to type in the whole long thing, it's going to be youtube.com slash user slash I wanna stamp. I W A N N A S T A M P. I wanna stamp. Oh, so, um, and, I, and I do, I love stamping. So that's yeah. where that name came from. But that's the best way. Um, if you go to my website, lorettaroger.com, it's all one word, um, and you look on the upper left hand side above the blog header, there are um, all of the social media links. Uh, to get you to me, and then right up underneath the header are a bunch of little tabs that you can click, like contact me in my email, and that type of stuff is there, so you can just send me a message or whatever it is that you need to do. Uh, my email is missms.retta, R-H-E-T-T-A, at gmail.com, and if you do email me, please Please, please pick up crafters into the subject line so I know it's not spam. Yeah, we got to be careful about that stuff nowadays. We're there are good. folks who are out there to get you and get your money. So you be really careful yes. there. Yeah, I have to check my mm -hmm. spam box now all the time because I have actually, I mean, just because I used to just go into spam, just delete. But you got to check the spam box <laughs> because there could be some, so I'm having to check two boxes now. It's like the regular email, then the spam box. We've got about two and a half, a little bit under two and a half minutes left in this segment. So let's go back to Cove Crafters again. So the, the uh, class will not be typically like it normally is on the second Thursday. Correct. It's going to be the third Thursday. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it'll be the 20th. Um, unless, like I said, unless something changes, um, it, we should be, we, is it the 20th? Yeah, no, 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 yeah, it's the 20th. I had to double check. Um, and I have a doctor's appointment, so I love Cove Crafters and I love Shepherd's Cove Hospice, but my health is more important, so yeah, I need to keep that appointment. And, I, and I've been worried about you. I, I knew that something wasn't quite right, but that's just because we're friends. You know, friends can detect yeah. stuff like that. So anyway, yeah. I, um, but you, do, you are looking like you're feeling better. Well, I feel okay for the most part. Um, the, the issues are the hernia. So it's just, mm -hmm. it needs to be fixed. And, and I need to not get pneumonia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so coughing, all it did was rip over the, open that repair. So, but you know, you do what you got to do and you take care of yourself the best you can because you're the only one there is. You're important and you matter. And I don't want anybody to ever think otherwise, regardless of what your state of mind is for that moment in time. You really do matter. And, and we love you. Absolutely. Less than a minute, but your state of mind really, really is important. And, you know, because you can wake up, you know, in a, in a strange mood. You know, I mean, I do sometimes, and so I just have to get my mind right. And uh, so, I know, see, and I'm going to tell you, crafting is the best way for me to do it. Or talking to Loretta on the show does it. It has Absolutely. been um, a wonderful time with you once again. I look forward to seeing you again. I'll see you in about two weeks. And I look forward to our viewers, your viewers. Um, maybe getting in touch and coming to be part of Cove Crafters or at least maybe do some volunteer work with Shepherd's Cove Absolutely. because it's so important to, to be part of the community and love the community and give back if you're able to do so. Absolutely. We're going to have to call it today. Loretta, again, thank you so much. It's great to see that smiling face of yours. Good to see you too. And we'll see you guys later. Another awesome guest coming up next.